All right, today for social studies, we're going to read all about totem poles. Uh, totem poles were originally found on the northwest coast of Canada um, and were made by a very specific group of uh, First Nations people that had an awesome talent. All right, so let's read all about totem poles. But before we do that, we should look through the questions. Just like every other time, the first question is going to be on describing. All right, describe what totem poles look like. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the chair, it says watch the video on our website uh, before you color the totem pole on the next page. Um, and so you can look at the totem pole as well to for your description. Look at the colors that were used, uh, some of the shapes that were used. Um, pretty interesting videos on, on what the totem poles look like. So just like always, first question is to describe the totem pole. Number two says, what are totem poles? Number three, what did the Aboriginal people carve into the trees? And then number four says, what do totem poles represent to Aboriginals? Okay, so let's go ahead and do the reading now. All right, all about totem poles. Totem poles are tall sculptures made from trees. They are carved by the Aboriginal people of the Pacific Northwest of Canada. They are they carve symbols and figures into the wood to communicate important parts of native culture. They represent family legends, characters, and story events, as well as cultural beliefs. Nearly all totem pole making was gone by the 1900s. Today, there is a new interest in totem poles, and they are a popular tourist attraction. And in the box it says, totem poles were often carved into the trunks of western red cedars. And the reason they used the cedars is because the cedars were um, naturally um, good at defending itself against other insects. Insects didn't like going into the, uh, the cedar. And it was uh, weatherproof. So the rain and that really had a hard time destroying the cedar tree. So the uh, First Nations people of the Northwest Coast realized that those are the best things to use because then the poles would last for hundreds of years instead of just for a little while. Okay, so um, once again, figure out um, or look at the video and be able to describe what the totem pole looks like, what are totem poles, great information in the thing we just read, what did the Aboriginal people call carve into the trees, and what do the totem poles represent to the um, Aboriginal people of Northwest Canada. And once you're done all that and your answers are written well and nice neat printing, you can watch the video. Um, and pay attention to the colors that were used and how the poles were carved and the shapes that were carved into it. And then on the next page, you can go ahead and color your totem pole. So here on this totem pole, please take your time, make it look beautiful. Try to use colors that you see in the video um, and how the totem pole was represented by the people of the Northwest Coast. All right, hope you enjoy coloring that and do a great job and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.